Today, I'm going to be creating a phylogenetic tree using some of my old webkins. But first, we need to go over a few vocabulary terms. Anagenesis is evolution within a lineage over time. Cladogenesis is the splitting of one lineage into two. OTUs are operational taxonomic units. These units can be different species, different strains of a virus, or different alleles. Phylogenetic trees are graphical representations of the degrees of similarity between OTUs. A most recent common ancestor is the last ancestor that two species had in common. The outgroup is the OTU that is known to have diverged before the rest of the OTUs. In a rooted tree, the distance between OTUs is known, and the order of divergence is inferred by comparing OTUs to an outgroup. Internal nodes of a phylogenetic tree connect branches and represent the last common ancestor of the descendants on either side of the branch. Okay, now let's take a look at the webkins we'll be creating a phylogenetic tree for. Each of these dogs are our OTUs. Today I'm going to start with the outgroup. In this case, the chihuahua is the outgroup as he is the only one with pointy ears. The rest of the dogs have floppy ears. Now we need to look for traits that will allow us to separate some more dogs from the group. The next dogs we can separate are the schnauzer and the poodle. They both have different fur growth compared to the rest of the dogs, so we can group them together. The rest of the dogs have similar fur growth, so we need to separate them by a different trait. I'm going to choose fur color and try to infer which colors are more closely related to each other. I think the big brown dog and the little brown dog are more closely related and branch off from the other dogs earlier in time, as they have a solid, normal fur color. These four remaining dogs form a separate branch from the brown fur dogs, but then split into smaller groups. The Dalmatian and white and black dog form one side of the branch, since they are more likely to be closely related to each other because they have the same fur colors. Last are the pink and blue dogs, which are grouped together since they were the only dogs with non-normal fur colors and are most likely to be more closely related to each other than the other dogs. In this Webkins example, the internal nodes connected the branches between different dogs and different groups of dogs. The nodes represented the most recent common ancestor between the dogs, like here between the blue and pink dog. The ancestor there was the last common ancestor between these two species of Webkins dogs. This is a rooted tree since we had a known outgroup, the Chihuahua, and made the order of divergence by comparing the OTUs to it.